Bro, how long does it take for your hair to grow? Takes a good bit of time. Jesus. Like, I can tell it's getting longer, but it's like, fuck. Uh -oh. I just want to want it to grow out so I can see all the haircuts. Lenny, what you doing, my Negro? Arthur, best kid. You got a lot on? Ah. Uh. Just hunting for all this hillbilly gold that Dutch and Hosea seem to think is out there just waiting to be stolen. <laughs> Why? I got something. Could be good. Yeah? Yeah, I was in Rhodes talking to some of the colored folk. They said there's a gang of fools holed up in the swamps east of here who think their war ain't never ended. The Civil War? Yeah, apparently it's still raging in these fools' minds 30 years later. Okay. That ain't my point. These ignorant fools are weapon dealers. And in their dealings, sometimes sit on a decent pile of cash. Yeah, been selling weapons to Cuba and South America for years. Anyway, the old boy I was talking to reckoned there might be a bunch of cash just sitting around. And failing that, maybe a nice stash of weapons. It's just a bunch of crazies, Gardner? Exactly. Well, worth taking a look at least, isn't it? That was my thinking. Said it was at some place called Shady Bear, deep in the woods. Okay. <laughs> All right then. Let's go rob some food. Damn, that bitch got fine ass. <laughs> oh man, I need some help. Come on, it's this way. On me. Oh, I'm on chapter five, by the way. Damn, you grinding away. You've been drinking again. What? No. Well, yes, but. No, that's not how I might have met them. For what? I think some of them harangued me and Sadie when we were well, coming back more. with supplies. Mrs. Right. Yeah. Did you take out of my Mrs. account Mrs. to buy that certain yeah, item? Fine. More than fine, actually. Oh, okay. She's terrified. But I got a notion what? these fellers is one and the same. Gotta say, if you did, you take the receipt no and go up and get my money back. Idiots in the state of that's for sure. Yeah. More about is it. Is it really that different in this state? Pot mama. I am a pothead. I'm telling her to go back to Walmart and return the pot. Because I don't want to smoke it. All respect, Mr. Morgan. You wouldn't know. They see us riding like this. But most of it is a a glass hammer. And after that, a visit in the night. Out west, it's out west is out west. No what? offense taken. Who you are. Decent folks. I what? Some places down here. I can't hear you. They judge different. Look, I didn't tell her to buy them in the first place. It can't be so easy for you, Lenny. Mute your mic for a minute. Sorry you're caught up in this. Well, I guess their gold still shining and their guns still shoot. <laughs> all right, you're good. Some game for robbing any and every one of these bastards for all they got. <laughs> Okay, yeah. Plus, it beats being lynched back in Blackwater with all of you. I feel like I'm going to roll up on some KKK people right now. Probably are. The people who think the Civil War is still going on. Uh, maybe. No, they still believe in slavery. Yeah. No. Oh well. Hey, you need to write me out one for tomorrow. Power bill. Feels like I need you to write a check. A house, down in the I guess. I'm not going to the bank to get cash. Be cautious. If 
And I'm not gonna wait till Friday to pay it either. I'll do it. They say find the old battlefield and keep on going. Yeah, I've been here before. I can see the wrecked old Civil War weaponry. Where are the wrecked old Civil War holdouts? You see that church up ahead? They're supposed to use it as an outpost. Heard they got men going between here and the big house all day. Okay. I gotta play Red Dead 1 after this. Imagine getting caught up in a fight like this. Yeah, I don't care to. Probably should. It's gonna be so weird going from like good graphics and good gameplay to like bad graphics. Let's just take a look around the place. Yeah. Bad movement system most likely. I mean it wasn't bad for its time and the movement wasn't all that bad either, but let's have us a nosy. Hold it. You following back there? Hear that? What? Someone's on the track. Buy me what? No, he didn't buy me that. No, but it didn't come from him though. Yeah. Look there. The wagon. Let's see where he's going. Yeah. You're on me. Now. Told her I told her to quit buying me stuff. Let's keep our distance. Just two fellers out on the road. Hey, that looked like dynamite in the back there? It looks like we're on to something. Hey Amber, I'll I'll invite you to party when they leave. I know it's probably loud in here. And you can just mute your mic. I uh, I don't really have a mute button. I just have to unhook my M mute yourself in the mic. party. You can straight up go in the party and mute yourself. Oh, okay. But you can still hear me. <laughs> hey, big plantation house. <laughs> Must be shady bed. I reckon we can leave our mounts up there off the trail. Good enough to me. Come on. We can get a view on them from that wall up there. Make sure you bring your sharpshooter. I'll take the other side. You get in cover there. Oh, you see anything? Yes. Hey, you might want to look over to the right. Down by the road, we do well to draw them into one spot if we're gonna make a pass at this. What else? I know dynamite crates when I see them. We got something, right? Oh, we got something. We can hit them head on, fight them honest. Or you could go down there acting friendly. Friendly? With these folks? Just draw them into one spot. Then I'll start shooting. Well, that might be the dumbest idea I've ever heard. But hey, I'm always up for a performance. Just give the word. Should I send Lenny? Oh boy, oh boy. Choices. I'm gonna shoot the dynamite. I'm gonna make a call. Gonna hit him head on. You save your play acting for Jose and the girls. <laughs> Fine by me. Waiting on you. Hey, you all be around.
quick. Any men in the area would have heard that. They might be on the way. Now let's grab something and get out. Sounds like a plan. This could be promised. What do you got? I'm not leaving here until I know we got something. Here. Come on. This is full of new rifles. Damn. You can sell those, right? We sure can. We'll check the rest later. Now, come on. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. Get this back to camp. Yep. Coming out of Shady Bell in one of our wagons. We was uh, doing some business with your brothers back there. You don't look like any kind of folk we deal with. Our business was conducted to the satisfaction of all parties. Until now, that is. Nope. No. Something don't feel right about this. Not here. I can't see anyone chasing us. I should think we're out of the woods then, so to speak. <laughs> boy, oh boy. <laughs> you did good. <laughs> we did it. Well, let's get to camp before saying anything like that. I know Sean's been bringing in quite a lot lately, and I wanted to... <sighs> it's good to have something to show like this. Sean's a loudmouth bragger. Don't worry about what Sean does. Hey. I like them, you know? Well, so do I. There's no better judgment. Just you worry about you. He wasn't on Leviticus Cornwall's train with me. We had to dig him out of Blackwater. But then no, but nothing. Me and Dutch, and everyone who counts. We know what you do for this gang. We notice. Keep it up. You're gonna start seeing things change for you. Okay then. Okay. Thank you, Arthur. Hey, the camp's in these trees up here. Let's get there. Arthur, Lenny, coming back. These are fine rifles. Right? I'm gonna keep one, just for me. Hey, I always enjoy riding with you, kid. <laughs> you know how to fight. Hey, you too. Anytime, Arthur.
don't like seeing you in a badge, Arthur. Selling it back to where it came from. Why? I ain't got a market for it. They made it. They must have someone to sell it to. <coughs> Stuff look kind of lonely out here. I think we'll cut ourselves a deal. Uh, I get you. You and Dutch was just doing your duty when you requisitioned it. Now I'm doing mine. All right. I should get going now. I'll leave you fellas to it. Good luck. Thank you, John. We'll see you later. Dutch asked him to look into something to do with the Braithwaite horses, I think. Sure, okay. Okay, let's head out to the Braithwaite's place. You know the way? Yeah, I've been there. So, what exactly are we doing? This is the moonshine we took after blowing up the Braithwaite still, right? I think the good citizens taking the trouble to return their stolen goods deserve some reward, don't you? And it's time we made a formal introduction. But Dutch told us, look, these are two big old plantation houses, and all I keep hearing is they hate each other so much they can't see past it. I know. I've seen it. There's a gray boy and a Braithwaite girl carrying on a secret affair. I've been, well, helping them. The mind boggles. You think they're of use? Not sure. They don't seem too involved in the rest of it, but maybe. Well, I'm sure there's money in this for us somewhere if we can get in the middle of it. Here we are. Modest little homestead, isn't it? Hello, gentlemen. How are you? What's that in the back there? Moonshine, my fine fellow. May I have a word with the man of the house? The man of the house is a lady. Mrs. Catherine Braithwaite. May I speak with her? I want to discuss a business opportunity. I mean no harm. There's no harm at all. You may happily shoot me if I do. <laughs> okay, okay. She's at the house. And we'll be watching you. You heard the man. Driver, proceed, please. something out in the hills thought thought maybe you was in the market for it for what some liquor i ain't in the market for what's already mine the way we see it it's ours well with us possessing it and I, I checked all over for the life of me i couldn't see your name on it oh relax i ain't here to rob you <laughs> no it seems that's easy enough <laughs> why not do a deal what do you sell that stuff for dollar a bottle you give us 50 cents it's already ours well, look on it as a reward for finding the property alternative is we go sell it someplace else the alternative <laughs> is you get shot now who wants to get shot over a bottle or two of liquor <laughs> pay the man pleasure doing business with you and listen uh, we didn't take it, at least not without orders from... Oh, I know exactly who gave you your orders. Old Sheriff Gray. You know what? I don't want it. In fact, sir, now you can do me a favor. There's an extra ten bucks if you do. Drive the stuff into Rhodes, head over to the tavern run by Mr. Gray, and give the stuff out for free. Mama! Hush now. I believe they call that a promotional expense. <laughs> 
As you wish, madam. You boys come back sometime and tell me how you made out. Maybe we'll play a little cribbage. All right. Next stop, the road saloon. Here we go. So I finally sold those Cornwall bonds. Got close to a thousand for them. I wanted more, but not bad considering how hot they were. Especially after that bloodbath in Valentine. No, not bad at all. Apparently, Cornwall's been pumping a lot of cash into the Pinkertons. Wants to keep their full effort on going after gangs. Gangs like us. Yeah, that don't surprise me. All right, this could get ugly. You and Dutch already have that thing going on in town with the sheriff. Yeah, Mr. Gray. That's it. Now we're inserting ourselves in his blood feud. <laughs> we'll need something. I ain't playing dress up. You know my feelings about that. Of course you're not. You're... You're a clown's idiot brother. Hosea, please. I'm the clown. You're the brother turned idiot. Just look sad and keep quiet. Even you can do that, Arthur. Oh, I have to. Put this hat on. Yeah. Yeah. Smoke this pipe. Bring your lip forward just a bit. Squint. Oh, perfect. Hey, what about you? Shh, shh. You can't speak. You're turned idiot. Right. Broke poor mammy's heart. There, there, Benton. There, there. Don't get mad now. Okay, Benton, stay calm now. But Mama, she loved you so. <laughs> Just a shame you had to strangle her in a rage, right? Grab two cases of that stuff and follow me. him don't madden him he's turned idiot <laughs> killed our mother but it weren't his fault how'd you boys how'd you boys like a couple of bucks i bet you would one for each of you we're in the new trade of advertising which is an american art form about ensuring people buy the correct things i don't know one more dollar says give us half an hour what harm can we do in half an hour <laughs> go along now enjoy the money Come along, Fenton. Let's hand out the liquor. <laughs> Gentlemen! Gentlemen! My name is Melvin. That's my brother, Fenton. He's a bit funny, but boy, can he pour drinks fast. For the next 30 minutes, the drinks in this here bar, in this here town, are entirely free. Yeah. The only rule is that you got to drink them. So hurry up, put old Pent to work. Don't get him mad, though. His mama made him mad, and we buried her. <laughs> All day. Ah. Now, come up to the bar, everybody. Come on, bullets. I'll have one, Billy.
Keep them coming. Quiet libation. You. Me. You're the bastards who stole the liquor we was gonna buy. Joe, we're in advertising. Uh, come on in and have a drink. That's our goddamn liquor. An honest mistake. Boys, get him. Oh, 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 no. no. me never to take up a career in, what was it advertising yeah. you think that woman set us up no i don't think so maybe this place is odd yeah. i keep seeing those fellas some local militia clearly not too happy to have some new competition i'll go visit old mob braithley see what's what why we've been making money the chest is filling up again slowly but surely Part of me thinks we just get ourselves good and lost. But we still need a lot more money before that can happen. So, for now, let me go give old Mrs. Braithwaite some of this moonshine as, well, let's call it a peace offering. Sure. That was fun, Fenton. We'll make an actor of you yet. <laughs> I'll go speak with Doug. <laughs> oh, man.
This game's too good. So, what do you think? About what? The fine folks around these parts. Oh, real nice. Exactly. On the one side, we have got the Gray family. Scots, degenerates, drunkards, the local law. You couldn't make this stuff up. Rich as Croesus. And on the other, their mortal enemies, the Braithwaites. Moonshiners, hypocritical, both rolling, we believe. In gold. And in the middle of it all, you got some inbred retailing of Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so what you boys thinking? We try to rob them both. You sure? Why not? Because we got lawmen in three different states after us. Last thing I want is to get us into trouble, but we need money. Now, we have the opportunity here to put ourselves in the middle of something ain't nobody gonna know we was here. Because even without us, these fools are gonna kill each other okay, anyway. Okay, well, Jose's gone back to see that Braithwaite woman. Good. Hosea should definitely take the lead on this. I sent Sean over to Braithwaite Manor, too. Now, you can meet up with them, or join John and Javier at the Gray's place, something to do with the Braithwaite's prize horses. Well, how the hell did we get an in at the Gray's place? Sheriff Gray kindly put in a word with his father. It ain't that complicated. <laughs> we gotta convince each family that we're on their side, and then we rob them both. Before they figure out it was us that done it, and not the other lot, we'll be long gone. Think of it as payback for my daddy. Payback? I ain't in the revenge business, Dutch. Least of all for something happened a long time ago. Well, I guess we all gotta pay for something. Now, if you will excuse me, Arthur, I got to write a letter. Dutch, you're getting fucking crazy out here, man. Can I help you there? Sure. I'm supposed to be my business partners here. Hey. 
Arranged a meeting, I believe, about some horses. A fellow with a scar and a Mexican. Yes, sir. Out by the stables. Thank you. Have a wonderful day now. Everybody and everywhere. And have you met my partner, Arthur Morgan? No. I met your son, the sheriff. Okay. Mr. Gray here was saying how he had problems with a family. A family of degenerates. Oh well, nobody likes degenerates. They're hag and her inbred sons. They ruined this county. They killed my uncle, you know. That ain't right. Problem is, we can't be seen to get too close. And? We've got gold, Yankee. We've got gold. I ain't no Yankee, friend. I ain't nothing. My daddy came over on a boat from Scotland. I'm Scottish. And the Braithwaites? Goddamn peasants! I don't know. Mongrels! Slave fuckers! All you gotta do is look at them. How much gold? Enough. These are prized horses I'm talking about. Them they'll get you. Five thousand. Five thousand? For horses? Easy. Where do we sell them, these five thousand dollar horses? Over in Clemens Cove. Fell over there, we'll run them out of state and give you fifty cents on the dollar. Mister, you got yourself a deal. Just keep us away from this. Publicly, I mean. My sense is we keep all horse wrestling away from the public. Go to the stables on the south side of the manor. That's where they keep the thoroughbred. One of these. The old fool. You should see the Braithwaite woman. Jose and Sean were planning on going over to the Braithwaites. You haven't seen them? No, not yet. If they're there already, they better keep their heads down. We don't need this to be any more complicated than it already is. Five thousand dollars for horses. We've been robbing the wrong folk all these years. Yeah. He doesn't know what he's talking about. But, if we get even a third of that, it'll be worth it. Now we gonna play this? The place is well guarded, so there ain't no point in blasting in there. We'll make them think we're there looking to purchase. Three armed men? You'd be armed if you were about to spend 5,000 on horses. We should go in the back way, though. Avoid too many questions. Speak to him, okay? <sighs> All right, then. Can I help you, gentlemen? Yeah, we're here to see about some horses. Horses? Yeah, we had a, an appointment with Mr. Braithwaite, I believe. Yeah, I never heard about any of this. A partner wanted to make a significant investment in some stables down here. <sighs> but perhaps we should look elsewhere. Well, I... Okay, then, but... Head on up to the stables. Someone will come see you. Yeah. Nice and easy. No need to rush. No 
to draw any unnecessary attention. I think that's the stables just up ahead. Heads down, play cool. We'll head around the front, hitch up there. Coming through. Okay. All right, let's hitch up here. Hit up. Good. Let me do the talking. you boys I hope so heard you got some horses we always got horses fine horses I mean I don't get you friend yeah you do come on listen why don't you get out of here you scarface and your greaser buddy whoa I don't like officials we ain't officials we're connoisseurs looking to do some breedings come on now partner okay fine follow me these here's mainly the studs available for purchase or for working if that's what you're interested in what is your boys interested in we represent a famous uh, stable and stud farm from uh, saratoga is that so unofficially of course well, this here's cerberus there you go boy cerberus is a real reliable a hot greaser huh okay bandana's on don't need no Buddy recognizes. All right, I'll grab the white one in the middle. You get the other two. Relax, boy. Come on. Good boy. Whoa. Easy. Easy now. Marshal. Easy. It's okay. Marshal, <laughs> you're going to tether him up to Javier's horse. Okay. Javier, you're going to lead the stallions. Marston, you ride point. I'll cover up the back. If there's any problems, we regroup at Clemens Cove. Okay. What are you doing? Let's go, quick! Get going, you two. What the hell are you doing? Go! We're being robbed! It's getting freaking intense, my boy. And is it? Yeah. I just saw some horses.
just over there. Come on. Let's get this over with. Well, that could have gone smoother. That'll be on my gravestone. You think they look like they're paying 5000 for horses? I guess we'll see. you boys want heard you was uh, heard there. you pay good prices for horses oh we'll buy more or less anything pop that's so sure pop i'm clay davies that's my brother clyde we're twins john arthur javier so what are you cuban no i don't like cubans that's so? Maybe. Why, what do you care? You ain't Cuban. Maybe I okay, like Okay, I love you. <laughs> Ooh, you're funny. He's funny. Ain't he funny, Clive? Clive don't talk. We're twins, but I was born first. He came out all yellow and black, but he's okay. Ah. Sure. Yeah, I know these horses. They ain't yours, but I like you, and I'll give you... I'd give you 650 for them. I was told we could get up to $5,000 for them. And I was told the moon was made of ladies' tears. Only it ain't true. Not one little bit. But... I like you boys. But I ain't got more than 700 on me. You want it? Or you want to ride them fellers into town? And maybe someone there will hang you. We're gonna need more than that. I ain't got no more money, Pop. Here, take it or leave it. Uh-huh. All right, you goddamn fool monster. Ain't no one around here got $5,000, boys, but nice meeting you. <laughs> See you boys again, I hope. Come on, yeah. Close the gate, Clive. I leave the yarn spun us by one of that Gray family. Imagined we was gonna be wonderfully rich. At the end of it, we felt like prize idiots. Oh, man. Who said it? Mm. Ryan's getting mad at me. Fuck him. Do you want to play Fortnite? Yeah, but he don't get it that I don't really like Fortnite. I'm just good at it. Sweating yet, Dutch? Of course I'm sweating. We're in some disease-ridden, swampy, Dixie-whistling shithole. <laughs> uh, I meant about what Trelawney said about these bounty hunters. Well, not sweating as such, but maybe a little gentle perspiration. Until we know more, ain't too much harm in wasting good liquor on sweating. So? So, I think you should pay Mr. Trelawney a visit and find out exactly what he knows and who he spoke to. Take Charles with you. Oh, the sight of the pair of you would make a statue sing out its secrets. Okay. Charles, I need you for some business in town. Come on. Okay. going? Dutch wants us to have a talk with Trelawney about these bounty hunters who are coming for us. Hoping he can tell us who they are or where they're coming from. Okay. 
And you're deputies now. <laughs> Some like that. <laughs> Soon as we laid eyes on that fool of a sheriff who runs that town, I, I knew Dutch was gonna play him like a fiddle. Stay with me, please. Anyway, you were saying? On the run from one bunch of lawmen, working for another. Interesting. Hiding in plain sight, Dutch calls it. <laughs> hmm. So, spirits seem good. In the new camp, I mean. We got some space between us and that mess now. I ain't seen no more Pinkertons for a while. There's these bounty hunters, of course, but Dutch don't seem too worried about it. Can't believe they're still coming after us. We didn't even get away with the money. Yeah, but they don't know that. Of course. Trelawney. I've only met him a couple times, but he's... he's a strange one. Fear not. He's just a cockroach in fancy britches. But he gets into nooks and crannies, the rest of us can't. We just need to find him before he scurries off again. I think it's just up here. Hold up. It's that one with the fire out Damn it, you just ran me over Let's with a fucking look. horse. The fuck? I swear I have bad I luck in this game. game. Not as bad as I am, okay? So I'm in a house and I walk to one part of the room and apparently you can't push people out of your way if they're sitting down. So I'm stuck. I like I cannot move out of this area. Because they won't get up and move. Really? Yeah, it, uh, I, I, I can really not go anywhere. I'm stuck in this house. There we go. I had to jump over. Nope. Okay, yeah. Yeah, okay, I'm good. It's a pain in the ass. You see anything there? Ed's not made, so he must have been here recently. There's some blood here. That ain't good. Big struggle. Pretty recently, I'd say. I guess maybe, uh... Twelve hours ago? But no body? Not yet. Mm. Look. Tracks. Mm. They went down the path here. How's your tracking these days? All right, I guess. Mm. Well, lead the way then. Not the kind of place you expect to see Trelawney staying in. No? Normally scams himself into the best hotel in town. You know, when me and Javier went down with Trelawney to get Sean after the bar fight, I swear, he talked the whole way and never actually said a damn thing. I thought you knew. That's his special talent. <laughs> they could be 20 miles away by now. We can track them that far if we need to. Depends on how much you want to find them. Yeah. I still ain't sure about that. 
Look, they continue on the other side of the tracks. Seem to head into the forest now. Hey, look. Let's go see what those fellas have to say. What are you getting off for? Excuse me. Yeah. Have you seen them? <clears throat> we're uh we're looking for our friend. I don't think he's here. Ah, <laughs> uh, you seen a strange sort of feller? Sort of formal? Strange? Sure. Formal? Nah. He uses a cane. Looks a lot like this one. Yeah. All right, you two. Where the hell is he? Go fit it, get out of here! Come in! At least hit me! Tell me now, you son of a bitch. Okay, okay, for Christ's sake. They took him to a cabin over by the cornfields. Which cornfields? Left. Down the path there by Braithwaite Manor. Uh, uh, pretty good. All right, that should do it. First person is better than Grand Theft Auto, that's for sure. Oh, yeah. Playing and then again, right you know, with this game, they were able to, like, build it build it with. I mean, first person already a thing. For Grand Theft Auto is just an added thing. What are you doing with your phone? Is it a call? What do you think they want with Trelawney? Could be any one of a hundred things. Just depends if any of them involve us. You think he'll talk? Of course he'll talk. He'd sell his own sister to save a train fare. He don't know how not to talk. He don't know where we're holed up, though. At least I don't think he does. I don't know why Dutch still deals with him. Always disappearing for weeks on end. He's got his uses, and, well, loyalty matters to Dutch. Of course. But is Trelawney loyal? Kind of. I guess Trelawney ain't exactly disloyal. Just got a big mouth. Don't worry. If he talked, I'll goddamn find out what he said. Nothing's ever straightforward where Trelawney's involved. Learn that much. I mean, how much time have we wasted getting this fool out of trouble? He somehow manages to be both lucky and unlucky at the same time. <laughs> That's one way of looking at it. But he always finds some way to pay us back. Just when we think about cutting him loose, he brings us something big. I guess that is special talent, keeping fish on the line. Must be it. Let's get you out of here. Come on, boy. 
the thing is, after that sack, this will be remembered like a good time. Put the man down, gentlemen. Is that the lot of them? I think so. Uh, so you're uh, alive. Allegedly. Well, don't worry, they won't be for much longer. Look, go get them, Arthur. I can handle this. I'm looking for this guy in a fucking cornfield. Where the hell is he? Jesus. Is that him? That's a fucking scarecrow. Of course it is. Oh, I know what you're doing. Yeah, I, I had that same issue. Fucking find him. Obviously, this dude did, and he did not even yell at me. Hey, I see something on the ground over here. He's dumped his gear. Look around. He can't have gone far. He's hiding in the mud somewhere, isn't he? No, he, he's. I don't know. I, I don't remember how I found him. Yeah, he fucking choked me out. It's all good. The money. I know. I'm a fool. Oh, shit. Thank you. Of course. You okay? Yeah. I'm fine. Go back for Trelawney. You all right? Yeah. Never goes easy, does it? Sure don't. Come on. Let's go see how badly they beat up the slippery fella. I wonder how much trouble he's brought with him. <laughs> Guess we'll soon find out. Seems like we can't catch a break now, Arthur. Our luck's held this long. We got out of worse scrapes than this one. Mm, so I heard. <laughs> sure. What's government agents and bounty hunters? You okay? <laughs> Never! Two! So, who was they? Holy shit, my mic flew off my head. <laughs> Attached to Cole Stoudemire. Okay. They weren't looking for me, I'm gonna no. say. What'd you tell them? Not much. I 
Told them I was an intellectual. Come down here from Oregon, looking for a job at the university. Of course, they didn't believe me. Seems you stirred up quite a hornet's nest in Blackwater. So I keep hearing. It might be best if I stay with you gentlemen for a while. Can't go back to that caravan now. All right, Charles. You take Trelawney back to camp. I'll catch up with you. Okay. All right. Well, I guess I'm gonna go play Fortnite for Bounty at least 45 Make minutes. All right. Uh, I'm staying in this party for a minute because it's cutscenes. <laughs> Perhaps this is it from now on. We shall see, I guess.